Chuang Network has officially grown to be one of the largest decentralized networks in the world since the mainnet launch two months ago. Compared with the July 30th, the account number has increased 1,431%. In a two-month period post the mainnet launch, the number of the Tron Network accounts now is 11 times that of Ethereum accounts. All the 27 Tron SRs has been elected. Tron has officially entered the constitutional era. Tron has also established a partnership with a social media giant line, and TRX has been successfully listed on the Bitbox exchange on the line. TRX has been listed on the Cryptono, on CoinSwitch.co, CoinEX Market, BitNovo, KuCoin, Atomic, and some other platforms. On August 11th, Tron has completed the acquisition of the top level domain name blockchain.org which will be used as an integrated one-stop and non-profit searching platform that incorporates the big data analysis, industry news and the blockchain search. Project Atlas will connect the BitTorrent peer-to-peer network and the Tron blockchain network via a set of BitTorrent protocol extensions a custom token and an inclined token economy to address existing limitations and open a new body's economy for the exchanging of value for the resources on the global scale. TVM is fully compatible with Ethereum's Solidity language. Besides, Ethereum's dApps can be deployed on Charm without any modification. We have also designed a unique virtual memory me mechanism, which significantly reduces the amount of physical memory usage. In addition, we have implemented decentralized exchanges of the Banker protocol, which means that the Chang network allows everyone to issue their own token and own their own exchange. For database, first, we have optimized the new version of the in-memory database which coexists with the original database scheme. Data from the new database is fully compatible with the original one, which can be easily switched with configuration files. Now let's took a, take a look at this slide. We can see that there are many different application scenarios. All of the applications will be connected to the full node, which means that full node is a core service node of blockchain. Any application, be it web games, apps, game engines, development and debugging tools, or wallets will call the FUNO interface. The FUNO will execute various transaction requests from different ends, process and eventually send back the results accordingly. If the developers are familiar with the Chang network, they may call the FUNO interface directly to meet their business demands. Secondly, if developers would like to develop a web game, they may call the Changlink wallet interface to better realize their business logic. We also provide Changweb, which is encapsulated by JS through the Funo interface, allowing developers to put what they have developed into use. So when a transaction enters the Funo, the whole execution process is as follows. There are four steps. First. The full node simulates the execution of every transaction to verify its legitimacy, filtering out malicious transactions. Second, the full node broadcasts the transaction to the child network, which then packages the transaction and broadcasts it back to the full node. Third, full node executes the real transaction and updates the database. Fourth, it will return to the caller. By caller, I mean the different and Call it from different ends, as I mentioned before. I am Cong Li, U.S. Head of Tron Protocol. And this is Ro, Head of the Storage BU. There are around 70 people, including Storage BU, as known as BitTorrent, Tron acquired a few months ago, and Pro Protocol BU, who are working mainly on blockchain ecosystem. We need much more effort to build a healthy and robust global ecosystem. 
where Chuang itself is only a small part. The most important part of the system is actually you, the community. We are doing that through having two dedicated engineering teams located in both San Francisco and Beijing. They are experienced, knowledgeable, and committed that covers majority work time of global time zones, mostly in language of English and Chinese. And we have two major focuses uh, through the course of this year. It starts with continuing to invest and grow our BitTorrent community and the protocol, its applications, and all the users that use uh, both our, our products, uTorrent and BitTorrent. Our second focus is to make sure that we are integrating seamlessly Project Atlas with our user community, which we believe, when it's successful, will be a meaningful step towards achieving Justin's vision for a decentralized web. I'm also pleased to announce that after a year of development, we are now launching or releasing uTorrent Web, which has been in beta for the last you know, several months. The idea behind uTorrent Web is simple. It's creating a fantastic user experience that advances the BitTorrent protocol to something that actually is of modern use. As a brief introduction to the Tron Storage Business Unit team, uh, we're based out of San Francisco with a couple folks also based out of Boulder, Colorado. We have 50 employees and growing. Uh, Justin and Tron, after the acquisition, continues to invest in uTorrent and BitTorrent, and ultimately the vision behind Project Atlas. BitTorrent, and now the Tron Storage Business Unit, also generates meaningful revenue, tens of millions in annualized revenue and profit as well. This comes from our work in advertising and subscriptions. And I have to say that at this point, we may be one of the few blockchain projects which actually has meaningful revenue. So the engineering team did an amazing job of changing the protocol so we do sequential versus rarest first torrenting because the user is going to want to watch or listen to something from start to finish. That was a, a big technology feat and we're very proud of that. The other is essentially Project Atlas and that's building a token economy versus the current barter system. Uh, all I'll say right now is it's still free, it's just faster. It's a foundation for our future as Tron. Uh, what that means in the near term, as Ro talked about, we're continuing to attract new customers on new platforms. It's very simple. In the medium term, we're transitioning from a place where users go to convert torrents to files to a place where an audience finds and consumes content. The iOS product that I talked about is something we're really excited about. And what I'm showing here is the very simple user experience. So our desire here was to allow people to connect the iOS phone to their desktop to get any files on their desktop. And finally, this is U2Web. So Ro talked about this. What's exciting about this is this was the reinvention of uTorrent we imagined. This is for a new type of customer. This is for someone who wants a modern experience, who wants something that's easy and simple. And that's what you get here. It's very playback centric. You see a big, a big image for, for the uh, player. Uh, it's two times better at getting a user onboarded to the product. It's five times better in the amount of time people spend in the product. It has meaningfully better retention. And we're very happy with this. We are creating an audience, which is exactly on strategy. What's it like working with our CEO, Justin, and the team? Yeah, um, you know, one of the first things I think I certainly noticed about Justin is he has endless energy uh, and passion. Uh, he has a vision. So when you get that in an organization, it's infectious. Uh, and, and I think that people see that and uh, are affected by it. So I think, I think Tron definitely breathes some new life into BitTorrent. One of the biggest things is that it validated our history. Like, uh, it's the energy, the enthusiasm, the leadership of that team. So I think it was a, a pretty logical uh, buy for, for Tron. One of the most obvious things is something that Ro talked about, which was our huge user base all around the world. When you have, when, when you're Tron, when you're a crypto company, one of the leading companies, and you combine with the biggest distributed peer-to-peer -peer network, obviously there's huge implications. People out there know that that's big, and we have that. So that in itself is huge.